Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about the present perfect tense. Let's get started. Now, we use the present perfect to describe past events which are connected to the present. Although, this tense can be used to describe different situations. Have a look at the example over here. Sam has lost his keys meaning that he is looking for his keys and he still hasn't found them. We use have or hasn't plus verb ed or just a verb. And for the negative, we use haven't or hasn't plus verb ed or just a verb. Have a look at the examples below. Positive sentence. I have already seen that movie. I've already seen that movie. Negative. I have not seen that movie yet. I haven't seen it yet. Question form. Have I seen that movie? Now the present perfect is used to describe a experience in our life up to now. Have a look at the example over here. I've been to Spain and Portugal. I really want to go to the UK. I haven't been there yet. B. An event in the past that has a result in the present. For example, Lily has broken her foot. Her foot is still in a cast. Past event. Lily has broken her foot. Result in the present. Her foot is still in a cast. C. A situation that started in the past and continues until the present. For example, I've lived here for 20 years and I'm still living here now. Continues until the present. D. An event in the past that has a result in the present. For example, Peter has read 50 pages of this book so far. There are 150 pages left. Now make sure to pay attention to the time markers. Let's have a look at those time markers. A. We use ever and never to ask or talk about our experiences in life. For example, have you ever eaten Chinese food? I've never eaten it. B. We use already to describe an action which has happened before. And we use yet to describe an action which hasn't happened before. Have a look at the example over here. I haven't finished this book yet. And my sister has already begun reading another one. C. We use just when we describe a very recent event. Have a look at the example over here. My mom has just come home from work. D. Always, often, etc. can be used in the present perfect, as in the example over here. He has always loved Dan. E. We use for to describe the length of a time period, and we use since to describe the point when the time period started. Have a look at the example over here. Chris has worked here for five months. Length of a time period. He has worked here since May 5th. May 5th. The point when the time period started. And now, let's review and practice a bit. Remember that we use the auxiliary verb to have and the past participle to make sentences in the present perfect. Now read the following sentences and form questions by inverting the subject and have or has. Form negatives with not and use contracted forms. Anything to happen. Interesting, since I left. 
Yeah, Ashley and Peter to decide to get married. Monica to get her driving license. But her aunt, Pauline, not to give up smoking yet. Has anything interesting happened since I left? Yeah. Ashley and Peter have decided to get married. Monica has got her driving license, but Aunt Pauline hasn't given up smoking yet. Note that the present perfect can be used to describe different situations. Now read the following sentences and provide the present perfect form of the words in the bracket. I to be to Poland and Czech Republic, I not to be to Hungary yet. I've been to Poland and Czech Republic, I haven't been to Hungary yet. Patrick to crush his car, he has to take a bus to work. Patrick has crushed his car. He has to take a bus to work. She to work for this company for five years. She deserves a pay raise. She's worked for this company for five years. She deserves a pay raise. I to write the introduction part so far. I not to do anything else. I've written the introduction part so far. I haven't done anything else. Now read the following sentences and fill in the blanks using the appropriate time markers. Never, for, yet, ever, since, already. Has your brother helped you with homework? He has done that, actually. Has your brother ever helped you with homework? He has never done that, actually. Have you made up your mind? Yes, I've decided what to do. I've just booked my flights. Have you made up your mind yet? Yes, I've already decided what to do. I've just booked my flights. Rob has played football. He was a kid. He has played football every day, 15 years. Rob has played football since he was a kid. He has played football every day for 15 years. Here is a short story using the present perfect tense. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Have you seen John anywhere? No, I haven't seen him anywhere. Have you tried calling him? Yes. I've just sent him a voice message. Has he listened to it? It's impossible. I've just sent it. Has anything happened? Not really. But I haven't seen him since the party and I'm a bit worried. He's never ignored my calls before. I'm sure it'll be fine. He's been busy probably. And now, time for you to practice on your own. Match the sentences below and the descriptions. 1. Cindy has graduated and is paying off her student loans now. 2. They've been best friends for nearly a decade. They always help each other. 3. Lily is on a diet. She's lost 5 kilos so far. 4. Nate has seen nearly all Marvel movies. A experiences in our life up to now. B. An event in the past that has a result in the present. C. 
a situation that started in the past and continues until the present. D. To describe how many things are completed so far. And now, read the following sentences and write the correct answer. A. I not to see him so angry before. B. Would you like something to eat? No, thanks. I to have just dinner. C. Shall I pay for our meal? I to do already it. D. And not to call me yet. And now, provide answers for the following questions. A. Have you ever been to the UK? B. Have your friends thrown you a surprise B-Day party? C. What have you always dreamt of doing? And now, let's check your answers. Cindy has graduated and is paying off her student loans now. This is an event in the past that has a result in the present. They've been best friends for nearly a decade. They always help each other out. This is a situation that started in the past and continues until the present. Lily is on a diet. She's lost 5 kilos so far. This is to describe how many things are completed so far. Nate has seen nearly all Marvel movies. This is an experience in our life up to now. I've never seen him so angry before. Would you like something to eat? No thanks, I've just had dinner. Shall I pay for our meal? I've already done that. Anne hasn't called me yet. Sample answers. No, I've never been to the UK. Yes, my friends have thrown me a surprise B-Day party once. I've always dreamt of climbing Mount Everest. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about the present perfect continuous. Let's get started. Now, we use the present perfect continuous when we talk about an action, quite a long one, which began in the past and has recently or just stopped. Now, this tense usually emphasizes, one, on the duration of the action, two, that the action is temporary, and three, that the action is repeated. Now have a look at the example over here. Is it snowing now? No, it isn't, but there is five centimeter of snow outside. It has been snowing all night. Note that the sentence, it has been snowing all night, is in the present perfect continuous form and it's used to talk about an action that has just stopped, and also to emphasize on how long it had been snowing. Now, to form the present perfect continuous, we use have or has plus been plus verb ing. Have a look at the examples over here. Positive sentence, Anne has been waiting for Sam for over an hour. Negative sentence, Anne hasn't been waiting for Sam for over an hour. 
She has been waiting for only ten minutes. Question form: Has Anne been waiting for Sam for over an hour? Another question: How long has Anne been waiting for Sam? Now we can use phrases such as all day, all morning, for days, for ages, lately, recently, since, for, etc. With the present perfect continuous tense, have a look at the examples over here. My brother has been playing tennis since he was seven. I haven't been feeling well recently. How long have you been learning English? I've been learning it for five years. Non-continuous verbs, for example, to love, hate, know, want. Etc. are not used in any continuous tenses. Make sure to use the present perfect instead. Have a look at the examples over here. I've been wanting to visit Paris for years. Note that this sentence would be incorrect because the verb want cannot be used in any continuous tense. The correct form would be I've wanted. To visit Paris for years. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember that we use has or have plus been plus verb ing to make sentences in the present perfect continuous. Now read the sentence below and provide the present perfect continuous form of the words in the bracket. I to work here since two thousand and five. I have been working here since two thousand and five. Now use contracted forms. For example, I'll, um, etc. I have been working here since two thousand and five. I've been working here since two thousand and five. Remember that we form questions by inverting the subject and has or have. Now read the following question, and provide the present perfect continuous form of the words in the bracket. What you to do lately? What have you been doing lately? And make sure to form negatives by using not. Use contracted forms in the following sentence. I not to do much. I've been feeling quite lazy. I haven't been doing much. I've been feeling quite lazy. And now read the sentences below and find time markers. It's been raining all day. All day. Peter. Has been staying in a hotel for the past week, but he is going back home in two days. The past week, two days. I've been trying to call her for days, but she never picks up the phone. For days, never. Here is a short story using the present perfect continuous tense. Listen as I read, so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself, so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Hey Pam, long time no see. Oh, hi Steve. Yeah, that's true. What have you been doing lately? Well, I've been trying to find a job in Germany for the past six months, but it's really difficult to find something with my level of German. How long have you been learning it? I've been learning it on my own for a year. Come to think of it, I've heard some really good comments about our local speaking club. Hmm, I haven't heard of it. I'll check it out. Maybe we could grab a cup of coffee next week. Yeah, sure. I'll give you a call. Bye. Sounds great. 
Bye. And now, time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and provide the correct form. A. Lily to watch movies all night. B. His grandpa not to feel well for the past week. C. How long you to smoke? And now, match the sentences below. 1. Where is Tom? 2. You're out of breath. 3. There are puddles everywhere. 4. Why are your clothes so dirty? A. Have you been running? B. Has it been raining today? C. We've been here for ages. D. What have you been doing? And now, provide answers for the following questions. A. How long have you been learning English? B. What have you been doing this month? C. Have you been exercising lately? And now, let's check your answers. Lily has been watching movies all night. His grandpa hasn't been feeling well for the past week. How long have you been smoking? Where is Tom? We've been here for ages. You're out of breath. Have you been running? There are puddles everywhere. Has it been raining today? Why are your clothes so dirty? What have you been doing? Sample answers. I've been learning English for eight years. I've been trying to improve my cooking skills. Sadly, I haven't been exercising lately. I've been feeling lazy for the past month. Thank you for watching this tutorial.